Yeah. Some sad news to report to you. At the age of 83, pop icon and soul icon Tina Turner has passed away. That's according to her spokesperson, who says that the queen of rock and roll and soul died peacefully at her home in Zurich after battling a long illness. She rose to prominence as the lead singer of the Ike and Tina Turner Review before launching what was one of the biggest comebacks in history as a solo artist, uh, and at the age of 44 became the oldest person uh, to hit the top 100 with her song, What's Love Got to Do With It? Our Martha McCallum takes a look back at the life of Tina Turner. Listen here. What's love got to do, got to do with it? She was the leggy girl with the raspy voice who became a rock and roll icon. Tina Turner was born Anna Mae Bullock on November 25, 1939 in Nutbush, Tennessee. At 11, her parents divorced and she moved in with her grandmother. By the time she was 16, Anna Mae was hitting the local R&B nightclubs. She met Ike Turner in 1956 at the Club Manhattan. He was there performing with his band, The Kings of Rhythm. Anna Mae repeatedly begged Ike to let her sing. Eventually, he let her join him on stage. Anna Mae was a hit. When Ike had a falling out with one of his band vocalists a few months later, he asked Anna Mae to step into the recording booth. The result? The 1960 hit, Fool in Love, which hit number two on the R&B charts. <laughs> It also marked the transformation from Anna Mae Bullock to Tina Turner, a name the songwriter came up with without consulting Anna Mae. A church house in the pair formed the Ike and Tina Turner Review. Their 1966 River Deep Mountain High didn't get much attention in the U.S., but charted in the U.K. and is now considered a classic. I love you, baby. The single was produced by Phil Spector, who called her singing Hurricane Alto. By 1969, Ike and Tina had 15 albums and 60 singles to their credit, but they hadn't gained a mainstream audience. That changed in 1971 when they released their rendition of Creedence Clearwater Revival's Proud Mary. The single went on to top the charts, earning them a Grammy and pushing them to superstardom. From movies to mega stages all over the world, performing was always easy for Turner, but life was not. She later told reporters that Ike beat her, saying, I didn't fear him killing me when I left because I was already dead. After Ike beat her badly in 1976, she took off with 36 cents in her pocket. A friend bought her a plane ticket. She flew to Los Angeles and never looked back. When Tina divorced Ike in 1978, she asked for only one thing in the settlement, her name, Tina Turner. After years of struggling to make a comeback, she hit it big in 1984 with her album Private Dancer. The songs What's Love Got to Do With It and Better Be Good To Me won three Grammy Awards that year. Turner's album sold 11 million copies, and at 45 years old, she reestablished her title as the queen of rock and roll. In 1985, she joined Mel Gibson on the big screen in Mad Max Beyond Thunderdome, a role the director says was created with Turner in mind. Also that year, she and Mick Jagger brought down the house when they performed together at the Live Aid fundraiser. In 1986, Turner wrote her autobiography, I, Tina, which was later made into the 1993 Oscar-nominated film What's Love Got to Do With It. Angela Bassett and Lawrence Fishburne played Tina and Ike. Both earned Oscar nominations. In 1991, Ike and Tina were inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. After her 2000 tour, Turner announced her retirement. In 2005, she was a Kennedy Center honoree. Then, after eight years of retirement, Turner went back on tour, showing the world she still had that voice and those legs. Rolling Stone magazine has twice named her one of the greatest of all time. Millions of fans would agree. <laughs> Tina Turner's life was one of both heartache and hope. No matter what life threw at her, she always came back singing. Martha McCallum. Fox News. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.